All right, what's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna be doing a cocktail that I thought would be nice to do since we're getting on towards Halloween. It's called a Death Flip. It was created by a bartender named Chris Heisted in Melbourne, Australia for the bar Black Pearl in 2010. Yes, 2010. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of nice to do because we're it's fall season and it's like you know flip season. So for those of you that don't know what a flip is, a flip is a drink that contains a whole egg. It is an old historic drink. If you want to know a little bit of the history behind it, you can check our Six Iconic Cocktails video. Just follow the info link that just appeared right now above my head. Um, and what were you going to say, Marius? It's a ding. Oh, you're, I thought you were going to add something. You were just going to make a sound effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Marius is making sound effects. Uh, and as you guys, well, as some of you know, as some of you don't, I like to just shake my flips on a big piece of ice because you get uh, superior texture. You get not very much, um, you don't get a lot of uh, dilution when you do that. All right, let's get into the drink. Uh, oh, hey, another Jaeger cocktail, guys. So this is another Jaeger cocktail and another cocktail utilizing chartreuse. A lot of people in the wake of our Jaeger video um, asked me to do some chartreuse, like a chartreuse video, which I will do. But I got to say that we have a lot of chartreuse uh, cocktails on this channel. If you search for them, they are there, but I will compile them for you. And I will definitely compile them into one video on like how to use chartreuse. And maybe I'll do six cocktails that time. Marius doesn't like it when I do six. He says, oh, it's too long. It's like a 20 minute video. Nobody wants to watch it. But if we have a chartreuse video, we have to do both green and yellow. And honestly, it's like, how, do you do two yellow and three green? Or do you do two green and three yellow? Or do you just do three and three? and you alternate them throughout the video. You do a top five with green chartreuse and top five with yellow chartreuse. Oh, you want to split it up into two videos. That's not a bad idea, actually. Just more views for us, I guess. I guess we could do that. Yeah, actually, I like that idea. We'll just be doing two separate videos. All right, let's get into the cocktail. Stop and jibba-jabbering with my, uh, you know, Norwegian counterpart. So what we're going to do is just, it says one, like, so basically the, Recipe for this is a dash of simple syrup. I just like to just eye it. Bang it. Whoa, I just spilled that right Okay, that's not a dash. Let's try that one more time. Okay, let's see how much is in there. Okay. Bam, dash. Now it's about a dash. And I got some spilled here. That's okay though. You guys will forgive me. If you will forgive Greg for spilling, then you will forgive me for spilling. I just decided that right now. All right, we're gonna do half an ounce of Jägermeister. We're gonna do half an ounce of yellow chartreuse. It's not a very big cocktail as far as volume. And then we're gonna do one ounce of Blanco tequila. You know, and when this cocktail was first put on a menu, they actually didn't put the ingredients on the menu, they just, thought that the name was provocative enough to sell the cocktail and they were a hundred percent right because when they started selling the cocktail with no ingredients and it was just called death flip everyone ordered it and now it's become a modern classic and i'm gonna crack my egg we're gonna do a whole egg but i'm gonna just crack it over here make sure i don't get any um little bits and bobs of shell into our cocktail because that would suck just do that and then we're going to add our tins we're gonna lock them. I'm gonna throw this away because I don't want it on there. And then, because I do have raw eggs on my hands, I'm just gonna give my hand a little, just a rinse for now. And a little wipe off. And then, because I'm a little bit of a neat nick, get that up off there too. Put that over there and let's, uh, let's give it a nice hard shake. You wanna shake it to emulsify now. The proteins inside the yolk are not gonna allow this to froth and fizz the same way that let's say like a whiskey sour with egg white wood froth and fizz, but you do still get that texture. You wanna make sure to combine everything so you will shake it dry regardless. All right. As you can see, I didn't have the greatest seal, so I got a little egg white. I got a little egg and cocktail mix on the outside and that makes things very slippery, so be sure to, uh, to clean that. Put our ice in here. It's nice and tempered. I like to let it sit for a couple seconds just in case the ice cracks in there. You don't want to get like, since I don't have a fine strainer with me, I don't want to, I want to make sure that the, I don't have like 
a lot of shards in here because those shards are gonna lead to, or could, could lead to over dilution. So, all right, and I'm just gonna give it a nice hard shake. Now, you don't have to worry about over diluting when you shake with a big rock because you're not adding a lot of dilution. It'd be very difficult to add a lot of dilution. You have to shake for a long time, so you don't have to worry about it. You wanna make sure to get enough of a shake going that you get the texture right in this drink. Ugh. I'm trying for the smile, but I'm like putting a lot of effort into this. And it's more of a grimace today. Steve the bartender, watch out. I'm coming for you, bro. Just kidding. Love you, dude. All right, look at that. Look at that foam, dude. Yeah. And here we go. The death flip. Nice. Yeah. Oh. There it is, my friends, the death flip. Let's have a taste. Oh, that is brilliant. It's just like, it's like you, the Jägermeister and the yellow chartreuse just gives it this herbal quality that is just fan friggin' tastic. Honestly, I, because there's no heavy cream in here, I thought that the Jaeger would actually make it come out a bit darker than this, but this is a really nice color. It's gonna devolve as this egg settles into a more uh, kind of browner cocktail, but I guess that egg yolk combined with the yellow chartreuse kind of gave it this nice sort of almost kind of goldeny brown color. You can see it's starting to separate right here. It's really, really nice. It's very herbal. Very smooth, very creamy. Um, it's got a really nice like after dinner drink. You know, you've got like not too sweet, and that's why you only want to do just a dash of that simple. But you know, the obviously the main flavor components here are gonna be the the Jägermeister and the yellow chartreuse together, making it just like very herbal in flavor. The yellow chartreuse is right on the bat on the front of your palate, and then it devolves to Jaeger, and you do get a little bit of that like you know, sort of agave spirit-ness to it as well. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, it's such a well-balanced drink, such a perfect balance between the tequila, the Jaeger, and the uh, yellow chartreuse. This is another very adult and grown-up way that you can be using your Jägermeister, and uh, it's just such a nice, nice cocktail. I thought, by the like death flip, it would just be like black in here. But like, um, you know, Jägermeister is not black, obviously. And you know, you add like the egg white, you add the yolk and you're adding yellow chartreuse to it. Obviously it's not going to be that, but it is a nice, very nice looking drink. I gotta say, even Marius is, um, he looks like he's sort of mentally salivating over there, over this drink. He's like, oh yeah, I like that. That's good. Well, Marius, I'm not barring. You can try this drink if you want to. Yeah, I can see he's trying to not talk, but I can see that he's that he's he's very intrigued by this death flip. Uh, so there you have it, my friends, the death flip. Um, I think that's all I got to say about it. Now I'm just sort of like bull bullshitting him out about Marius and his kind of strange you know, kind of half crooked smile on his face. Um, but uh, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and you can check us out on Patreon. We've got some awesome content, uh, some exclusive videos going to Patreon, patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Check it out. We redid all our tiers. Uh, we're doing a whole bunch of new stuff. We're really hitting it hard this year. Um, so je definitely check those out. We've got t-shirts on Teespring. So just look, just search the educated barfly on Teespring. We've got some good stuff and I will see you guys on another time.